when I think of the possibilities when Matt gets here, it's just gonna be a new and exciting time. My mom thinks they're just gonna ride off into the sunset together. When we were coming to Dr. Phil, she turned around to me and asked me, when we meet Matt, how are you gonna treat him? And I told her, I don't think he's real. I'm looking forward to when he makes it back to the States. We can prove to my daughters that he is real. Matt Hurley does not exist. He's a scammer trying to get what he can. Do you think that we've left a stone unturned? No. Tracy? No. How do you explain this? I, I don't even know what to say about all of this. I'm just like, I don't know how anybody can do this. Well, you're frustrated with I'm mother. frustrated. I'm sick to my stomach. I'm overwhelmed, and I'm at my wits with it. Like, I just, I told her from the get-go, these are scammers. Stop talking to them. Mm -hmm. And she's stubborn. She's going to do what she wants to do. And this is what's happened. Well, let's talk to the man. Um that we've been looking at the, the picture of, the man that she knows as Matt Hurley through pictures. Uh, Stacy and her sister Tracy say they did a Google image search and discovered the man behind the photos of Matt Hurley and found out he was a motivational speaker in Venezuela. Now, after doing our own investigation, we confirmed that Stacy and Tracy were in fact correct and my team was able to track him down. So joining us now, from Caracas, Venezuela, with over 1.2 million social media followers, is international motivational speaker, very well known, very accomplished, uh, uh, Carlos Fraga. Say hello, Carlos, how are you? Hello. Un placer saludarlo, Dr. Fields. It's a pleasure to say hello to you, Dr. Phil. And we have here a, a translator to help simultaneously interpret our conversation. So I'd like to introduce uh, you to Blas Kissick, who has 20 years experience as an interpreter and will be alternating between Spanish and English. So thank you both for being here. Um, so Blas, uh, ask Carlos if he knows Gail in any way, if he's ever had any contact with her has ever intersected with her in his life at all. Carlos, ¿alguna vez has conocido a Gail? ¿Has tenido algún tipo de contacto o tu vida se ha cruzado con ella de alguna manera en, tu, en, en la historia? No, jamás. No la había visto nunca. No, never. I've never seen her before. Uh -huh. And Carlos, where do you live now and where were you born? Carlos, ¿dónde naciste y dónde vives ahora? Nací en New York. Y he vivido toda la vida en Venezuela, en Caracas, Venezuela. I was born in New York, and I've lived all my life in Caracas, Venezuela. Uh -huh. And let me, Gail, ask you, how does it feel to see Matt Hurley, uh, the, the, the man as you know, Matt Hurley, actually in the real live talking in real time here? Well... I did know about this motivational speaker. Uh -huh. I did know about him. Uh -huh. But, you know, I guess I just... Stacy asked me the other day, or someone asked me the other day about, uh, about him. And I said, well, why can't he have two careers? You know, I don't know at what point in Matt's life he went to college. How did I know that he wasn't a motivational speaker for a few years and then went and got his engineer degree? Okay, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yes, that's that looks like the person that I've been supposedly talking to. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.